Hey, what's the haps, YouTube? You're back with your man, Lucas Lawman's back in the studio. Christchurch, South Island of New Zealand. With yet another NZ Kit Chat kick ass sneaker review. Thanks for coming to hang out with us. Appreciate you being here. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, comment down below. Let us know what you're thinking of NZ Kit Chat's take on sneaker culture. And today, my friends and family, we're going completely off the path. I think you've probably seen it up on the pedestal there. This, my friends, is a recent collaboration due to have released in June, but due to world events and our favorite friend, COVID-19. Yep, we love that term. These guys have been pushed back and back and back. Released in New Zealand, start of August, we are looking at a shoe style from 1978 that has been updated with The Simpsons. That's right, we're talking about the Vans Simpsons collab, the Vans classic silhouette, the Skate High and the Simpsons collab. Look, I don't know about you guys, but the Simpsons, they are a lifelong memory for me. Growing up, I had their humor around absolutely everywhere in my life, and I always lived by the ethos that pretty much everything in life can be referred back to the Simpsons. For me personally, they've had a huge influence on my humor and on the way that I have approached life. Homer Simpson is probably one of the most classic cartoon characters in the history of the world. It's just my opinion, and that's all right because it's my channel, so I can say what I like. So I was excited when I heard about these, and what they've done with them is all sorts of awesomeness. Cover off what they have done with some of that before we dive into detail around the skate high with the portrait situation. Now in New Zealand, these guys have released at multiple different retailers. We've got them at Loaded, we've got them at Platypus, we have got them at Hype, we have got them Vans.co.nz, they're all over the place. So they have been quite an easy cop and there's quite a few pairs sitting around easy to get. No stressing, we just jumped online, picked my size and away we go. But it wasn't quite as straightforward as that due to the range that these guys have got. Now I went for the portrait. Just because I love the way the highs feel and look, that was my first consideration. But other than that, they're just a classical collector's piece. One side, we've got the 2020 family, which is fantastic. They've done an awesome job of that. And for those lifetime Simpsons fans, on the other shoe, we'll get that lace out of the road there, they have got the original 1987 family. That's the way they looked. They really did look. Look at that. Tracy Ullman show. Where they did the shorts, that's where they started with one or two minute intermission, interlude episodes between the Tracy Ullman skits and stand up. That's where the Simpsons started. So I love that they've got one on one shoe and one on the other. But in terms of day-to-day -day wear, there is all sorts going on. We got a selection in New Zealand, and on further research and further conversations with different people and different groups across the world of Facebook and social media, but there's a whole bunch more that we never even got here that would be awesome for collectors. What we have got is we've got the Moe's situation in the Lowe's green suede and a cool colorway and a Moe's tailgate on them. Looks like that. So got the itchy and scratchy lows, those guys there, super low, super awesome, busy sneaker, exactly what you would expect to get from an itchy and scratchy, and on the heel, I love the way that those look. One that we didn't get in New Zealand, which I'm super excited about, having a few conversations overseas to see if I can get my hands on these, that's the Mr. Plow lads, that's those ones there. Probably my favorite or single favorite episode of The Simpsons in all of its 30 year history. That episode continues to crack me up to this day. We've got the donut slides, those guys there. Yep, they've gone down that path. Let's give them a quick breakdown, shall we? These are 
The Simpsons Vans Clan Box. Awesome box. Straight away you can see that they've put a little bit of extra effort into the artwork of the box. Yep, you've got the house on the front with the, with the car going up the driveway. We've got Moe's, yep, no doubt. We've got Lard Lad Donuts, super awesome. We've got the nuclear power plant. We are loving that. That's it. They have nailed that with the packaging. Flip up box lid. The tissue paper's got clouds on it, much like the starting in The Simpsons. Simple, tiny little detail but i love that my first experience with a pair of vans skate highs and the first thing i will say straight off is man they're hard to get on they're super super hard to get on i thought j1s were hard to get on these guys are super difficult to get on my personal experience correct me if i'm wrong chuck it down in the comments am i doing something wrong but i found these really really hard to actually get on your feet you have to loosen them right up tie a front half of the shoe in two separate sections we've got a, a semi-decent quality sort of suede which is cool with a big thick vans reinforcing stitching across the middle which is pretty cool the tongue is covered in that suede as well right up to the top where we've got a vans off the wall nylon tongue on the medial side they've gone with the blue and white checkers on one shoe and the yellow and white checkers on the other shoe which is perfect simpsons colors is exactly what we should be looking for they've nailed that then as we go into the inside of the shoe what's really cool is they have done a simpsons clouds branded insole which is nice with the vans underneath there on the inside of that padded collar right the way around that back that whole back end with all of that additional stitching that is a thick quality tumbled leather that probably stands out as the nicest part of the materials is that inside of the shoe it also contributes to the, to the fact that they're so hard to get on because that's good quality leather so it doesn't slip and slide very much it's not a synthetic so it does make it difficult but they are really really nice i'd say overall the construction of the shoe with these things is actually really good they look solid as and i can understand why they are such a staple in the skating community great news is they are not reselling at all Vans just don't. There's the odd collab that really does take off. But these Simpsons ones, they've made enough of them. They're pretty mass market. And that's great for us collectors. And that about does it for these guys. That is the Vans Skate High, the extra padded collar with the beautiful tumbled leather. But all about that Simpsons collab. We will see you on the next one. Boom! The Simpsons. The Simpsons.